to YouTube. What's going on? Good morning, guys. My America coming at you from Northern California, 2019 outdoor cannabis grow, you guys. So for uh, those of you that have been following my uh, my blog here of this grow, you'll know I did a video yesterday about the spider mite infestation I had. You guys, this was bad. Extremely bad. Um, top coal is being completely covered in webbing. Lots and lots of, look at this, lots and lots of damage. But check it out. So I did a big no-no. And I'm going to explain to you what I did and why you're not supposed to do it. No, but get out of here. So I sprayed my plants last night. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking, Sean, you're eight weeks into flower and you just sprayed your plants. I did, and I used an atomizer. And this is basically, it's electrical. You plug it in. It's basically essentially a fogger. And I fogged these plants last night and I, uh, I used some, some stuff. This stuff is pretty expensive. Kills mites and their eggs on contact. This is called Green Clean. Well, Green Cleaner. This is a four ounce bottle that costs about 30 bucks. Mix about two ounces per gallon of water. And I fogged these plants out. And I came out here this morning and on this uh, back plant right here, my gorilla snacks. I came out here yesterday and there was thousands, thousands of spider mites on this plant. Thousands of them. I came out here this morning I cannot find a single mite anywhere on any of my plants. If you guys are having spider mite problems, and I would never recommend spraying your plants this late into flower unless it is dire. And my situation was definitely dire. But this stuff right here is absolutely no joke. And yeah, there's my leaf blower there too because I came out here and blew them off with the leaf blower for about 15 minutes after I fogged them out. But I am not joking. There was thousands of spider mites on that back plant yesterday. And I cannot find a single spider mite out here anywhere now. So needless to say, I'm fucking stoked. <laughs> because I was getting ready to chop my plants down on Sunday. And now I think I'm going to actually be able to let them finish. But yeah, we're so close to, to harvest and... The spider mite situation got completely out of control, so I made the choice to uh, to spray. And I'm out here right now getting ready to take the leaf blower to them again, just to be sure, you know. If I get a little bit of mold, that's fine. I'd rather have a little bit of mold than deal with the spider mites I was dealing with. But, I just want to give you guys a quick update. If you're facing any kind of problems in regards to mites or spider mites, I can't recommend this product enough. It was super expensive. And it was worth every fucking dime. Every dime. So yeah. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm pretty stoked about it. I was super excited when I got out, got up this morning and checked my plants and noticed that the spider mites are pretty much gone. And uh, yeah, because there was thousands of them. I don't know how I got such a bad infestation, but I did. And I seem to be doing good now. So just want to share that with you guys. My America. Signing off.